Hey, this is a thing logger. This picture here on the left is a verified picture of outlaw Jesse James. So who cares, right? Well, you might if you found one of these in your attic or in a garage sale, because these things sell for millions, which now means that every old photo is Jesse James. And so now it's this crazy game on with facial recognition experts from like police departments with 30 plus years experience and facial recognition software, all seeking to identify and verify actual photos, never before seen photos. It's a big deal. So I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to take a look at five such photos to see just how good an expert opinion is. Let's check it out. <clears throat> okay, so first to get all of our eyes thinking the same here, these are two verified photos of Jesse James and, and, and look at them. I, I don't even have to tell you that's the same person, but, but here are some things that are really trademark Jesse, like these high, pretty severe cheekbones. we see there and there. And this nostril, it's got a really high and deep nostril. We see there and there. Uh, thin, thin lips, we see there. Hollow, gaunt face. See there and there with this jaw angle like this. And the brows kind of come and slope down, down. And their eyes. Uh, first, I see a really heavy lid up there on the top. And then they've got these big, or, or they, he, has these big, round eyes. And this nose, there's, there's really no dip in it. It's just a, just straight down like that. And this forehead, really interesting forehead. And just, just the shape of his head. Oh, and also look at these ears. Look at that heavy cartilage up there on the top. And also the hairline. We've got different hairstyles, but this hairline's a dead giveaway. This question mark hairline there. That is the same face. But looking isn't enough when, when you're trying to validate photos that might be worth millions. Uh, I, I don't know if you saw one of the last videos I did uh, about Todd standing, but you watch me, watch me sketch a portrait of him live. And so, so I'm telling you, even, even as a portrait artist, someone who's studied faces my whole life, just looking, you can still be deceived. So I've come up with this little method that I've used before looking at body ratios. Once you drop in these lines and it looks complicated at first, but look, we, we, we've got a purple line going across. Those are the tips of the ears. And then we've got these two red lines for the top and the bottom of the eyes. And we see both their eyes line up. This is also a, another way to make sure the photos are scaled exactly the same. Uh, looking down here, we see the base, the blue line, base of the nose. So everything's lining up. The mouth line and then the chin line. All right. So now I'm going to drop in another line that's usually the killer. Boom, this green line following the tip of the ear because our ears really vary in size. And I, I can tell you that it would be really rare to find two faces that lined up on so many different points so closely. Okay, so here's the first face we're going to look at. This face always, or this picture always turns up when you do a search for Jesse James Outlaw. And they say, well, this is, you know, Jesse James has many looks and this is his his older, rougher, more filled out look, you know, he's maybe got 20 pounds heavier or more. And, uh, you know, as a portrait artist, I can tell you no way, not in a million years. I, I don't even need to use my verification method, but, but look, uh, different shapes of eyes. This guy's eyes are kind of sloped up top. Well, not that severe, but whereas Jesse's got these big round eyes, uh, his bottom lip is fuller. He doesn't have the same, same cheekbones and just, just the overall shape of the face, everything is wrong. But when we drop in my lines, okay, so we don't get to see the tips of the ears. 
But look at these eyes. Uh, first off, you can look and see these faces are scaled the same. You know, we've got the chin line, mouth line, nose line. Everything lines up so they're scaled the same. And yes, they're turned uh, slightly different angles, but it, it still doesn't matter doing this. Uh, look, look at this guy's left eye versus his right. His right could literally look, <laughs> look down and see the top of his left eye. It's that what is? It's about three sixteenths to a quarter inch higher. Whereas if you look at Jesse's, his lies, his eyes line up, and his lies line up as you would expect. So, so no way in a million years. But here is the clincher. If I drop in the green line coming off the, the tip, the bottom of the ear, and look at this guy. Look how far up his ears are. Our ears and our noses grow throughout our lives. They never stop growing, which is a cruel joke on us all, but our ears do not grow smaller. And, and look how much smaller this guy's ears are compared to Jesse. I would give this a 0% chance this known photograph of Jesse James, I would give it a 0% chance of being outlaw Jesse James. In fact, Ziggy Stardust looks more like Jesse James than this guy does. Now, here is a relatively new picture of Jesse James. I, I believe this guy in the UK found this on eBay, and man, it's Jesse James, you know, all of a sudden. And just looking at it as an artist, I can tell you there's no way. Uh, he's got this... It's kind of frowny, turned down mouth. Uh, his jawline is all wrong. Uh, the brows slope too much. Uh, the hairstyles are changed, which, you know, that's fine. But still, it doesn't appear that he's got that question mark uh, hairline there. Uh, it, he, now, it is a hollow face, you know, a thin face, and he, and he does have more rounded eyes and, you know, some higher cheekbones, but it, it's still, it's not Jesse James, but let's, let's do this, get rid of that, let's drop in the lines, and look at the purple line, following it all the way across, and boom, <laughs> eBay Jesse's ears has grown a half an inch when he was younger, like, no, that doesn't happen, and now here's the clincher. Uh, we're going to follow the, the bottom of the ear all the way over and look how much smaller eBay Jesse's ears are versus the real Jesse James. I would give eBay Jesse a 0% chance of actually being Jesse James. And yes, I'm just an amateur. You know, I, I, hope, I hope I'm wrong. I hope this guy banks on this. But 0% chance from me. Now, I believe there was a huge battle over this, this Jesse James here on the right. And the family, you know, they finally came out and said, there is no way this is our family member. But, you know, just, just glancing at this, you could see where somebody would go, yeah, man, no way. This is Jesse James. You know, hand me my $2 million. And he's got these big rounded eyes like Jesse James. Um, now, I don't see the heavy heavy eyelids as much, but he does. Look at that cartilage on his on tips of his ears. Really, really heavy cartilage, so that's close. But I, I'm afraid that's where the similarities end. Uh, whoever this guy is, he might have had his nose broken a time or two. It, uh, it trails off to the right, and they look pretty close in age, so they're, even though hairstyles could be different, I'm not seeing the question mark hairline and the the cheekbones, not so much. These Jesse's got heavier, heavier cheekbones. But this jawline, like no, no way. I mean, he, this guy's got the big rugby, rugby player jawline, and he's he's got this big square chin, where Jesse's got this rounded chin. But uh, let's go to the lines, see what they say. And boom, and wow, look at that purple line. We have pretty much a perfect match, which again, that's amazing. But look at the eyes. This guy's eyes are just smaller. They don't, they don't line up the way Jesse's does. And, uh, you know, I, I, could, I could try moving the picture around 
and, and, and make the eyes line up better. But now that's going to throw the ears off. But let's, let's go to the clincher. Okay, so we've got the eyes matching up more. Uh, but let's go to the clincher here and we'll drop in the green line and, and see that's just here. I'll rock it. So the ear shape is really close and, and the eye shapes are close. But once you factor in, you know, the, the jawline and the hairline and, and uh, also this guy, you know, let me get the lines off. Also, this guy's brows just fall off where, where Jesse has this kind of gentle slope. It's like, I, I, I agree with the family. I, I would give this a, about a 0% chance that it actually is Jesse James. Now, this is a potential Jesse James photo that I'm really pulling for. This is the reason I'm even doing this whole thing. Uh, the owners of this, it's a couple in Canada, and, and I'm not going to disclose their name, but they actually contacted me and said, hey, you know, we know what you do. Can you, can you help us validate this? And I was like, sure, I, I'd love to. I'd give it a try. And that's what got me interested in all of this. So I really hope this is an actual photo of Jesse James. But, well, here, I'll just show you some of the things I see right off the bat. I mean, first off, uh, this guy, he doesn't have, you know, Jesse's big round eyes. His eyes, you know, he's, he's kind of got more of the, the Tom Cruise thing going there, you know. And the nose looks wrong. And, and you know, I, I don't see the, the high cheeks. Sure, the hairstyle's different. But, I, you know, I don't think we're going to see that question mark hairline. But let's let's go straight to the lines to see what they say and okay so we can see everything's lined up we can't see the top of the ears so let's go to the green line the bottom of the ears and wow look at that here i'll zoom in so that you can really see this for yourself look look at this green line you can see it's right at the bottom of jesse's ears and if we follow the green line over you, you can see that this guy's ears are just nowhere even close. I mean, this guy has tiny ears compared to Jesse James. So as much as I want this to be authentic, I, 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 would, I would have to, I'll be nice and I'll give it a 5% chance of being Jesse James. But, but again, you know, I'm just an amateur. What do I know? Now, What's crazy about this story, and even a little heartbreaking to me, is that this couple, while they reach reaching out to me and anybody for help, they actually made contact with a heavy hitter. I mean, a facial recognition expert, to the point that this guy has a TV show coming out with a major TV network where he's using his facial recognition software. And I guess he's going to be verifying and validating photos and things like that. Anyway, he told them that he ran Tom Cruise here through uh, some preliminary tests and his software, his multi-billion dollar, trillion dollar industry software came back and said 80% positive that this photo here on the right, Tom Cruise, is a never before seen photo of Jesse James. 80% positive. Now, most people think computers and software are so smart but you know i i can say this i was a programmer in earlier life software and computers for the most part are stupid that that facial recognition software it doesn't know that this is a human face it doesn't even know what a human is you're one little old toddler is better at recognizing faces than this trillion dollar industry can can do all, all it's doing it's 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 it knows to look for certain points and it measures the distance between those points now it can do it in nanoseconds but you know what so can we so can so can that baby it, you know a baby can can one glance knows the difference between a stranger and mom or dad so, so here I am, thinker thunker, a rank amateur. 
I can't even make minimum wage out here, out here making these videos. And I'm telling a trillion dollar industry, your facial recognition software sucks. It is grotesquely wrong if it's coming back 80% positive where I would give this 0% positive, you know? So use your own eyes. Well, what do you think? Uh, but for this family's sake, I, I hope I'm wrong here. I'm hope, I hope their expert is right. And, and I'll be the first to admit I'm wrong all the time. I'm wrong daily. And, and I really hope I am here, but I just don't think so. Now, here's where skeptics are going to try to find flaw with my method and say, look, man, there is no way like this guy is looking head on. Jesse's turned off to the right. Of course, this guy's ears are going to look smaller because they're way back there. And remember, when we first looked at the two Jesse's, he's looking all but straight into the camera and his ears line up. Now, I've been a photographer my whole life. I grew up playing in my dad's dark room. He was a professional photographer. I know a thing or two about cameras and lenses and focal lengths and magnification and zooms and all of that stuff. If you believe that different camera lenses are shrinking ears, prove it. Now this last photo we're gonna look at, this has been a big deal in the news. Uh, this is one of those instances where grandma this, this was a fa family heirloom. She kept this thing wrapped in a cloth. She kept it in a tin for her whole life. And she, she said her family had direct links to Jesse James and the James gang. And that's why they had this photo. And that not only was this Jesse James, but this was also former gang member and eventual killer, Robert Ford. Um, she said no one would ever listen to her, ever believe her until a like 30 plus year veteran of a, a, a facial recognition expert with a major police department, you know, major US city, spent two weeks doing all of these detailed measurements and came forth in the news and said 100% sure that this is Jesse James and Robert Ford. Now, again, I'm no expert and I haven't been studying this photo for weeks, but isn't Jesse's left eye a bit cross-eyed? I mean, that alone would make me think, no, th this isn't Jesse James. Okay, so now you yourself are becoming an expert on, on what to look for. Uh, do you see the cheekbones? Uh, you know, not really. Um, Nostrils, well, these, these are, you know, larger nostrils visible from the front, but I don't know if they're as, as large. Um, the eyes, while rounded, just don't look the same. And we're not seeing, not seeing these heavy lids. And this guy, his nose goes off to the right. Of course, we, we don't get to see Jesse there straight on. How about the hairline? Are we seeing, are we seeing the question mark hairline? And this one does something totally different. It comes down here. It's like, that's not the same hairline. And you know, they couldn't be that different in age to where when younger he had uh, his hairline just further receding. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, you know, I, I know I'm not a 30 year plus veteran with a major police department or facial recognition, but seems like they would have missed that. And this guy's brows seem to just kind of come straight across where, again, Jesse's kind of slope off. So so what do you think? And then, of course, again, the, this this guy's left eye here is is a bit crossed. Uh, whereas we don't see that's the case at all. So let's go to the lines. Let's see what they say. And... Oh, and also, by the way, I'm using the more head-on Jesse, just in, case, just in case. I don't want anybody saying I'm using the wrong angle. So, hey, look at that. Look at our purple line. Tip of the ear, pretty good match. So we know the green line is, is normally the determining factor. And can you already see it? Can you see where... Here, I'll just drop it in. Drum roll, please. 
boom. Look at that distance. Now you tell me, are you 100% sure, like that police veteran, that that is Jesse James? Not only is it not Jesse James, but I'm going to drop in a, a known picture of Robert Ford right here in the center. And right off the bat, I can see where the alleged Robert Ford in this photo, uh, just the shape of his head, where is in this other photo, a known photo of Robert Ford, he's got a much more of a, a heart heart-shaped face. Well, I really messed that up. But you see what I'm saying? A much broader forehead comes down to more of a point. Let's, let's go to the line, see what they say here. And okay, so we've got the faces aligned, right? But, but look at his eyes over here. I mean, first, they're not even really the same shaped eyes. And now they're lower in, in this photo. Um, and let's drop in the bottom of the ear. So his eyes are lower in this photo and his ear is lower. I believe, I believe our 30 plus year police facial recognition expert is wrong again. What do you think? All right, guys, that's all I've got. This was great fun. I, I was really surprised. I've never done anything like this before, but I really enjoyed doing this. So I, I, I'm so appreciative that that couple reached out to me on this photo. And again, fingers crossed. I, I, I hope you're right. I hope you've, you've found your lottery here. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And, uh, and those comments are on now. Special thanks to my patrons over on patreon.com. Uh, those guys are great, great support. I appreciate you all so very much. Um, I know this isn't my standard fare, but uh, but hopefully you all didn't mind the, the little deviation here. Uh, please like, subscribe, share these videos with, with your friends and all, all that stuff. And hey, uh, friend me, follow me, whatever, on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, that's it. I appreciate it so much. Take care, everybody.